are taking our last sip of Do you sip it already? No. Oh, me and my sister are taking our last sip of water before we go to surgery. Cheers. Ah. <laughs> mm. Damn. That was, she took more than a sip. I See, I took, literally took the slightest sip. Like the <laughs> I don't want to drink no more than that because I don't want to get there and they're like, you can't get your surgery today. So y'all, I just got out the shower. I took me a nice long hour shower because they said the day after surgery, you're not going to shower. So it's almost time, so I'm just gonna be wearing two surgery. I'm just gonna be wearing this robe. I might put a tank top underneath it because it's really, really cold in there. And um, my sister said don't wear underwear, but I kind of do want to wear underwear because what if they weigh me one more time and I'm just butt-ass naked? You wanna be butt, you gonna be butt-naked when you wear it? You, <laughs> you was butt-naked when you wear yesterday. No, I wasn't, they made me keep my underwear on. I say sorry, honey. And put your hands Zoop, in the Tuck it. <laughs> like I said yesterday, we got lucky because our, our appointment times are around the same time. So hopefully we go in, everything's perfect. Yeah, we're pretty much just waiting to go to surgery now. You excited? You ready? I'm ready to go. So tell the camera you ready. You stay in the shower too long. Yeah, this is gonna be the last shower for a minute. Show the camera your pictures. Have to show y'all her wish pics. Want her waist to look. And even more if you can get it tighter. But right. everybody's body is different. Right. And that's what I told my doctor. I said, my main focus, like, I do want the dents in my butt filled in, but my main focus is having a itty bitty waist. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to wake up and my waist is laying right next to me. I can, bye. You know? <laughs> so we're going to move to the room upstairs. Go ahead. Yeah, because we were in the room down here. We shared a room with one of the girls. These stairs. I'm trying to figure out how can we get surgery. How are we going to do these stairs? <laughs> I'm about to drag my suitcase up these stairs now. Oh, oh, y'all, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I don't know how I made it up this there. Now we're in a room upstairs with just me and my sister. I liked our room now, so the bed's bigger up here though. So the bed, a little bit bigger up here. They got the, I'm out of breath. We got our own bathroom. We got our own bathroom, where? Are you sure? Yeah, it's connected bathroom. Oh, this shower is smaller. I don't like that. This shower is smaller than the one we had downstairs. And this is our room right now. Our stuff is in the closet. And yeah, they just have the pads down ready for us to get our surgery and come. So right now, my sister told me to, she gave me some disinfectant wipes and we're wiping down everything in the room. Never be too safe. So I'm just wiping down my dresser and everything. I'm gonna put one of these pads in there in a second. I'm gonna wipe around my bed. Oop. Ready to wipe down the doors? All right, now I'll do it now. I'll do it on light switches. Okay, so she wiped on everything. We're just unpacking some of our supplies and putting some of our supplies out. As you can see, she put some of her stuff in her drawer. drawer and everything. I put my arnica pills in here. My allergy medicine for congestion, my toothbrush, toothpaste, my uh, Listerine's in here, Arnica gel, and my polysport. I got some wipes up here. I put my deodorant right there. Um, and here's just my toiletries, like my hair products and stuff, and my face product. I put a suitcase in here in the closet, so that way we just have more room out here. Oh, my My boo just texted me, said he want to see the old body. It's gone. Period. Y'all, we're about to leave to go to surgery. Oh my God. We can't wear our glasses or contacts, so I literally can't see. My sister can't see either, so we two blind bat. Oh my God, she just called us to come downstairs. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm freaking out. What are you doing? Oh my God. She trying to get a tour of the house. And I'm over here having a panic attack. <laughs> oh my God. Hi. I'm in the bathroom at my surgery place. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I don't want to be too loud because I don't think we're supposed to record, but I'm about to do my drug test. I just signed the rest of my forms for my surgery. Freaking the hell out. I am so nervous. I'm shaking really bad. I couldn't even sign the paper. I was signing it like, but y'all, I'm freaking out. Okay, y'all, um, may God be with me during the surgery and same for my sister.
y'all. <laughs> oh, um, when I was doing the video, I put the sock one on my head <laughs> and the leg just bust out laughing at me. Completely naked, all my clothes are in the bag. Oh my god, the compression socks. Y'all, this is really happening, y'all. Oh my god, I can't believe this is really happening. This is really happening. Did my markings, and the guy just put an IV in my hand. I had IV in my arm before. I'm literally shaking from the needle. It doesn't hurt anymore, but it hurt when he did it. But he tricked me, y'all. He was like, hurt me, it's not gonna hurt me. And I was like, what? And then he poked me, I was like, oh my God, that hurts. I was like, you said it wasn't gonna hurt me. You are like, no, 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 I said it wasn't gonna hurt me. So he tricked me and like, the, it kind of distracted me from the pain because we were laughing, but maybe 30 minutes until it's my turn because somebody was getting surgery before me, so. I'm just praying and- Oh yeah, yeah, one more thing. When my doctor was marking me up, I was cracking the hell up. Like when they mark you up, I'm really, really ticklish. So I was cracking up. Like I like I was shaking and cracking and moving. And he was like, don't move. You don't want to mess the markings up. But I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, I'm really ticklish. Also, if you don't like needles, bitch, you gonna have to get over that. I'm still not over it. They stabbing me down to the ground. So <laughs> y'all be ready. Oh. And another thing, while I was talking to the anesthesiologist, he was telling me about the chipped tooth thing. If you guys didn't know, I didn't know about it either, that your teeth can get chipped, chipped during surgery and you sign off on it basically saying that it's okay. I thought it was from like them flipping me over or something, but it's pretty much from after when you wake up from the anesthesia, he was saying like, you like, you know, you kind of, you're on the anesthesia and so like you're gonna like bite down and like you might bite on your tongue or you might bite down so hard you chip your teeth so just be aware of that and just be careful and i didn't know about that but i hope i'm fine because y'all know i love my teeth for the people that didn't know that is um something that you sign in your paperwork and he just went over it with me again i didn't know that so now you know y'all i just did my surgery i feel fine like, I literally feel fine. Y'all, you feel every... Y'all... <laughs> Y'all feel that? Ooh. I'm in the back of the van. My legs are up. There was a bunch of girls in there. Bitch. Them bumps. I was in there, y'all. They had woke me up. They're like, you're done. I was like, bitch. It's the bumps for me. I was like, can I go home? They're like, you gotta wait for your <laughs> Ain't nothing hurt but these bumps in the road. Y'all need to do something about that. Cause this is painful. Bitch, I woke up, they're like, you done. I was like, can I go home? <laughs> like, ooh, these boogies. My butt burns a little bit. Like, I feel like he jabbed this, but I feel fine. Um, when I was in that room waiting, there was like a bunch of grit. My tongue feels numb. Like my mouth felt numb. Um, but my tongue feels really, really numb. There was a bunch of girls in there. They were like screaming. Maybe my pain tolerance is higher than I think it is, but it really wasn't that bad to me. Like I woke up and I was fine. Um, but I was freezing. It was freezing in there. Um, but the only thing that's hurting right now is my butt. I feel like where he put that needle at, I feel like he must, <sighs> period. Fine, like, girl, she just took a video of me, bitch. I was dancing, her, and all the ladies, they were, like, talking to the other girls. They are like, calm down, you're scaring the other patients. And this one girl, she was like, <laughs> I was like, girl, please, it's not that bad. Well. I don't know if it's that bad. She might have gotten something else. Like what the girl said in the house last night, like you feel fine, but the anesthesia doesn't like wear off for like three days. So like, yeah, the only pain I feel is my tongue. Sorry y'all for that booger. I'm a get hit, but I can't get it right now. <laughs> only pain I feel is my tongue being numb like this yeah, so, and my butt a little bit, but besides that, I'm fine. And these bumps, bitch. Mm hmm Ouch. I see. Do I get back? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, one. Oh, okay. Hello. Hi. Got no. <laughs> ah, I made it back to the house. I still feel fine right now, but I am effing freezing. Like, hold on. 
bitch. They take out some of my lashes. They better not have. And this hurts. Like, how does the IV hurt out of everything else the most? And like these compression socks, I can't. Yeah, my toes is out. My toes. And they're freezing. I think I'm so high. But like putting pressure on my stomach makes it hurt. Like when I stand up, I feel fine. But yeah. Put the girls on camera. They are so nice. Like everybody has been so nice to me. Um, people at Jolie have been really nice. But I need these covers on my feet. Cause I'm gonna die if I don't. I think they are on my feet. But I just feel a breeze. They are on my feet, but I just feel a breeze. They gave me this little button thing if I need anything to call them. Honestly, y'all, I want to walk. Like, I don't know why I want to walk so bad, but I just want to walk. Like, I hate feeling down, like I'm sitting down, stuck down or anything. I want to walk. I don't know why I'm sounding like this, because I feel fine. I think I'm just out of breath. I think my body's just exhausted. But if I do get up to go to the bathroom or anything, I'll, like, i try to show y'all the shape. <laughs> Period. Um, but she just gave me some soup and some Gatorade when I got here. I'm happy because bitch, I'm thirsty. So, and my friend just texted me to call him. So, I'm about to call him. All my friends are checking on me, make sure I'm okay. I love all my friends and all my family so much. Thank you guys for checking on me, making sure I'm okay. Literally calling me moments before I go into surgery. Thank you to my little boo, whatever. You know, I don't think I'm going to put this in the video, but I miss, I miss you so much. And, um... I wish you were here. You know when you got a boo and you just going through something, you just want to snuggle up with them. That's just basically what I'm feeling. Not saying that I don't feel comfort with my sister, but I just, I just want my boo. And when I tell y'all, it feels like something is stuck down here in my throat. I woke up, my throat said, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, the what's down here? It was like something is like scraped and like hanging off. But it's probably my throat just throbbing. I hope my sister gets here soon. I hope she's doing okay. She actually had a complication. They said that they had found, I don't know the name of the drug. They said that they had found a drug in her pee. But she takes this medicine for her headaches. So that could be the reason why it's showing up as that other thing. When I was getting up to go do my, like literally the guy was like, it's your turn. She was texting me. She was like, I got cleared to go. I just want her to get here so I know that she's safe and that she's okay. And I hope she's not in that much pain when she wakes up. I woke up. I don't know if I did this in the car, but they attacked me. They're like, you done? I said, I'm done. I said, can I go? They're like, no, you got to recreate for the career. You know? I was like, damn, I'm going to go home. And like, I didn't really feel any pain. Like I said, there was other girls in there screaming. I just want to be like, sis, be quiet. It's not that big. But then again, I can't really say that because I don't know what surgery they had done. Y'all, I'm starting to feel a little bit of pain in my butt. I don't know what it is, but it's starting to feel a little pain. Hopefully she goes away because we don't need that in our life. I just want this soup beach. Like when I tell y'all, all I wanted to do when I got out of surgery was eat. The soup looks so good. And hopefully it warms me up. Mmm. This is good as torch. But my, my tongue still feels numb. So, I can't really, like, it's coming back slowly. But I'm just trying not to, like, bite on it and chew my tongue while I'm chewing this chicken noodle soup. I might get some more of these. Because this soup, I'm tearing this soup up. See if I can find the videos that they took of me when I was... <laughs> I literally walked to the car and I started dancing. Like, when I laid down in the car. <laughs> and they were cracking up. Oh, just now? Hold on. Bitch. That hurt. I get tight in my stomach.